when we are trying to browse or search something in online platforms then we generally face some trouble of loading the link or loading the website that we are trying to search there might be two problems one there might be the traffic very high on that particular website or there might be an issue with the website or there might be some unwanted browsing history that we have it in our computer that we have to remove it in order to improve the performance and in the same way if i would like to talk about our mobile phones so in our mobile phones we generally see that the storage we have our storage in our mobile phones so many of the times we have multiple applications where we can clear the cache in our particular mobile phones so that our storage space will increase and the performance of mobile phone will improve right so in the same way in order to improve the query performance in snowflake we also have something called as cache hi i am m asif hussain from no half academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn what is cache in snowflake how does cache works in snowflake and what is our role in cache so by the end of this video you could able to get a very clear idea on what exactly is cache in snowflake and how does it works and how will it improve the query performance so watch till the end my dear viewers whenever i am talking about the cache in snowflake so cache is something which improves the query performance that we have to keep it so now how does it improve the query performance by showing us the results by getting the results from the underlying storage rather than re executing the complete query again and again don't you think that this is confused so let's learn step by step so whenever i'm talking about cache so first let's understand what exactly is a cache okay so cache is automatically enabled process which will increase the speed of the execution process of our query so now what's happening is that as the query that we are executing in snowflake that are stored right now there is no need to reprocess it again so for example i am using my warehouse called as compute warehouse okay let's consider i am using my warehouse called as compute warehouse so in this warehouse i am executing one query and the same query i am executing it again the same query i am executing again in the same warehouse so what's happening here so when i am trying to re execute the same query in the same warehouse the query will not show me the result by re executing the query but the result that is stored in the cache from that it will show me the output okay so that's what it is telling me that the result is stored in the cache so now how does this caching works so what's happening is that as we discussed that this is an automated process so the query is executed the results are stored in the cache that cache results will come up in the output that whenever we are trying to execute it so now the point is the cache results that are stored in our particular cache storage that will be there only up to 24 hours okay that will be there only up to 24 hours or until the data changes in our particular warehouse or in our particular data now we come to the interesting point if the table data is changing okay let us consider that i have updated the values or i have done some modifications in my particular table then the result can't be reused okay as a now the result is different it is very obvious that the result is different okay so that's what as i can uh, show you the uh, picture here as you can see that the results are captured for only 24 hours okay it it is only for 24 hours but whenever we will uh, execute the result again freshly okay in this way whenever we are trying to you know re execute it then it will get some accurate results now we should understand how exactly uh, our role plays in this particular cache process okay as we are the user of this particular snowflake so as users we cannot control the cache directly all right it is because it is an automated process but we can ensure that the queries that we are trying to run on the same warehouses rather than choosing 
multiple warehouses. So if the same query runs again in the same warehouse that we are using, then what we can do is that we can maximize the cache. So, okay, then what we can do, we can maximize the cache. So when we are trying to maximize the cache, then we have some more space. Okay, we have some more storage in our particular cache that the queries can help to show us the results in a better way and in a faster way and in a faster way. So just let me show you this by executing a small query in our Snowflake. Then we can maximize the cache. So how can we maximize this one? So the way that we can maximize is for, for example, I am creating a new user, I'm creating a new role and I'm granting some usage on this particular warehouse to the user. Now, when I try to open up the same user details in a new snowflake, okay, when I'm trying to open that in a new snowflake, then obviously the size of the warehouse when we are trying to use or the results that we are trying to fetch will be there in that particular warehouse which will be helpful for us in order to execute the query in a faster and in a better way. So my dear viewers, whenever we are trying to work on a snowflake, we should have three important points to remember then it will be easy for us to work on snowflake. Number one, the warehouse that we are using, this we have to keep as a very important note. And number two, the size of the warehouse that we are using, are we using small, are we using X small, are we using medium, or what kind of storage we are using, that we should know. Now, how should we know that? It should be purely depend upon what kind of data and how much usage that I would like to use as per that, no, with that particular uh, uh, related data you have to select your particular size of the warehouse and number three you need to completely focus on how you have to improve the performance and everywhere you go so though you take sql server though you we take power bi though we take azure data factory or though we take python or though we take um, snowflake so whichever programming language or whichever tool we consider or whichever cloud computing platform we consider we should focus on improving the query or the query optimization I would like to talk about. So there might be different ways of you know, optimizing the query and out of that, the cache process is also one of the important aspects when we are trying to improve the query performance in Snowflake because whenever we are retrying to execute the same query. So what generally happens is that if I give a simple example in SQL Server, what we do, we fetch some details from a table, right? So now in one particular database, we use the same query. So select table, uh, select for example, employee ID and employee department from employee table. Select employee ID, employee department from employee table. So what we are doing, we are re-executing the same query n number of times, okay? Multiple times from the same database. So what in this snowflake it will happen if you try to execute the same thing, the result we will not get it freshly okay the result for the first time when we have tried to execute the query the result it will be stored in a cache so from that cache we are showing the particular result when we are re-executing it n number of times so that's how cache works and it will you know give us the accurate results if you try to even uh, you know go with the uh, process of uh, using the cache in a better way and uh, my dear viewers so here you have to focus that whenever we are talking about a cache this is completely an automated process okay this is an automated process so what a user as i am the user of snowflake what i can do is that i can ensure that the queries that i am trying to execute that should be from the same warehouse then everything will be easy for me so in this video we have learned what is cache in snowflake how does the Cache works and what is our role in Cache? Thank you for choosing Nahab Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.